Now we're going to take a look at a different type of problem. We're still going to use needing to find the meanings of like P and T. The only difference is we're going to want to use a graphing calculator to answer this one because the graphing calculator is going to make it easier. So go ahead and get your graphing calculator out, press pause, and when you've got it up and going, go ahead and press play so we can go ahead and go over the problem together. All right, so we've got the problem here. It says the population of a small town is 5,000. The function p equals 5,000 plus 3t squared can be used to estimate p, the population of the town, t years from now, based on this function, which statement is true. So let's go ahead and define our variables first. I see that we have a p and we have a t. So p, let's figure out what p means. Let's figure out what t is first. So p the population of the town in year, or so just the population of the town. So population. And t is t years from now. So number of years from now is important. All right, let's go back and read the equation and see if we can make sense of the equation with those words put in for the letters. P, the population, is equal to 5,000 plus 3 times the number of years from now squared. So, okay, let's see if we can make sense of that 5,000 and the 3 and the squared. So, the population is equal to 5,000. Well, 5,000 is where the smallest town started. So population is equal to the current population, 5,000, plus 3 times the number of years squared. Okay, so we've got an equation. We know that we're going to start off with 5,000 people, and we're going to add 3 times the number of years, and we're going to square the number of years every single time. So let's take a look at it. The population of the town will increase, then decrease. Well, it has to follow just the information we're given, and well, it's kind of hard to tell just from looking at that. Now, if you know about quadratics, you might be tempted to say, well, that's true. But again, let's take a look using our graphing calculator. So go ahead and get your graphing calculator out. And I want you to turn it on. And I want you to put the equation into your y equals screen. So remember your y equals screen? And we're going to type out 5,000 plus 3t squared. Now I went ahead and typed that out, 5,000 plus 3x squared. I had to use an x because the calculator, when you put stuff into your y equals screen, it has to have just an x. You cannot use any other letter in your y equals screen. So 3x squared. Now what I want you to do is make a table. So remember that second graph. And let's find out which one of these makes sense. The population of the town will increase, then decrease. Well, if we look at it and you keep on going, you'll notice the population is just always increasing from zero. So A cannot be the right answer choice. And again, you can scroll up and down using your arrow buttons. B, the population of the town is increasing at a constant rate. Now, constant means it's increasing by the same amount every single time. So again, B population of the town is increasing at a constant rate. If we look at the table, it goes from 5,000 to 5,003 to 5,012 to 5,027 to 5,048. It's not increasing by the exact same amount every single time. So B cannot be the correct answer either. All right, so let's go on to C. The population of the town will increase by 12 people in the next two years. That means two years from zero, it should increase by 12. So do we add 12? from zero to two years? And the answer is, well, yeah, you do. It goes from zero, 5,000 that is, to 5,012, that is increasing by 12 people two years from now. So it looks like C is the right answer choice. Let's make absolute sure before we move on. And let's look at D. The population of the town will reach 5,700 between 14 and 15 years from now. So again, 5,700, I'll try to keep that on the screen, between 14 and 15 years. So we're going to scroll down to 14 and 15. Okay, 14 years, 5,588. 
15 years, 5,675. It does not reach 5,700 between 14 and 15. It's just not big enough. It's 5,588, 5,675. So, looks like the correct answer choice is C. The population of the town will increase by 12 people in the next two years. Here's one for you to work on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. This one was a little bit different in the way that it worked out, um, mainly in the way you had to type in the equation. You can't use R and T, so you're going to have to use X and Y. So it might be beneficial and sort of write, instead of writing R equals 2 to the T, writing Y equals 2 to the power of X. And let's review real quick how to get that power of X. To get the power of X, you go 2, and then you have to type this little caret symbol right here below the clear button, and then type your X. Now you might see this, or you might actually see the little upside down V, the caret symbol, and then the X. Either one's completely fine. And then you create your table and you answer the question from there. Looking at the answer choices, the rabbit population will increase constantly. It doesn't. It jumps really quick. 512 to 1024 to 2048 to 4096. It's doubling every single time. It's not adding a certain amount every single time. So A is not correct. The population will get half as big every year. No, it gets twice as big every year. Last second to last one C says the population will increase by exactly 20 rabbits in the next five years. Well, that's completely not true because if you look at this, you'll notice from 0 to 5, it increased by exactly 32 rabbits in the first five years. So the last one is the rabbit population will double every single year. And if you notice, it does. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. The population is doubling every single year, so D is the correct answer choice.